back to math easy for new algebra one video and this is one of the most important concepts so stay and watch the whole video i promise you will not regret this this in this video we will learn how to find the slope of the line when the points are given to us so let's get started with the formula for the slope which is m equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 question number one is negative 1 5 and 6 comma negative 2 now what i do in this case is i always like to write down my x1 y1 and x2 y2 remember it doesn't matter you can choose any coordinate set to be x1 y1 and x2 y2 as long as your calculation is correct you will get the same answer so i'll get y2 minus y1 which is negative 2 minus 5 and x2 minus x1 which would be 6 minus minus 1 you can also choose to write this without the parentheses negative 2 minus 5 and 6 minus minus 1 remember two negatives will make it a positive and we will get negative 7 over positive 7 negative 7 over positive 7 and our slope would be negative 1 let's try another question question number two we have three comma one and two comma six again go ahead and label your coordinates as x1 y1 and x2 y2 and then use the formula m equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 six minus one over 2 minus 3 so we got 5 over negative 1 or negative 5 is our slope you can also write negative 5 over 1 or you can choose to ignore 1 question number 3 here is negative 4 comma 3 and negative 4 comma 5 so before I start solving this question, notice that the x values are exactly the same. And what happens when your x values are exactly the same? In the denominator, you get a 0. When you get a 0 in the denominator and you have a fraction, you cannot get a 0 because then the fraction becomes undefined. So this will get give you 2 over 0 and the slope is undefined. So this is a hint to us when the coordinates are given to us and you can see that the x values are exactly the same, then you can already say that the slope is undefined. And when the slope is undefined, then the equations are like this, x equals to a number. In this case, it would be x equals to negative 4. And the graph of such equations is a line which is parallel to y-axis let's try the another question i can already see that the x values are same so when you put the values in the formula put your coordinates in the formula you will see that you will again get an undefined slope and i'll encourage you at this point to change your x1 y1 and x2 y2 and see if your work still matches with my work and you get the same slope as the answer. So go ahead and try to make 4 comma negative 3 as x2 y2 and 2 comma 2 as x1 y1. Do the work and check your answer with my answer. For number 7. Now in our previous questions x values were same and y values were different. In this case I can see the y values are same. When the y values are same, your numerator becomes 0 and it gives you a 0 slope. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe MathEasy for more math related videos. Bye for now.